Roswell, are you sitting on the potty like a big boy? So Roswell has been actually sitting on the toilet for the past three months and he's only had like one or two accidents in his diaper. And so Roswell is potty training. We always start our kids potty training before they turn two years old. Seriously guys, start your kids with potty training before they're two. Get them in the habit of doing it early and you will be more successful with potty training. We've had four kids. Christina had the idea, she read some books and stuff, where she started potty training at the age of 18 months, between 18 and 22 months, and it's... <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? This kid is seriously, he goes pee on the toilet, he goes poop on the toilet, and we have a special rock outside. This works for boys. Uh, we have a special rock outside called his pee rock. And this dude, we say, go outside and go potty. And he goes and pees on his pee rock. Huh, buddy? Daddy. You gonna flush that? Okay, flush it. Oh, good job, buddy. Give me five. <laughs> Did you flush it down? I'm flush daddy one. flushed the daddy one down. He, it's kind of funny because he calls his poops daddy or baby ones. It's a daddy or a baby one. Okay, tell these guys peace. Peace out, <laughs> We love you. Hi, Roswell. Hi. Hi. What's up, Dykes fam? What's up? Dykes kids, how you guys doing today? Good. Good. Tayden, what's going on today, brother? I have a soccer game. That's right. Tayden only has three soccer games left of the season. Yep. Okay, TD, what are you gonna show them today, buddy? I'm gonna show them what I'm made of. You show them what you're made of? Yeah. Cool, why don't you tell these guys about your day at school first? In school, I, right now, I'm learning about static electricity, and it's really kinda weird, because it's super hard to understand, because there's so many different parts to it. And at recess, I play a lot of soccer, but today, when we were playing soccer, I got elbowed in the nose, and my nose was red and it got all swollen up. So that sucked. Did you cry? No, no, <laughs> I did not cry. When you get in the nose, sometimes you get tears in your eyes, bro. It's all good. No, my eyes got watery, but I didn't cry. Oh, okay. It just it's hurt really bad. Sure. I want to teach you guys a word in Chinese. So how you say science in Chinese is kashra. Yeah. Kashra. 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 Shra. Shra. <laughs> <laughs> William, how was your day at school? Good. What'd you learn about, Bubba? Mm -hmm. Bats. Bats. You learned about bats? Mm -hmm. Like Halloween bats? Yeah. So we're headed to my soccer game right now. I'm super excited. Hopefully we can win today and I can score a goal. We'll see you on the soccer field. Yeah, I win every single game. I don't need batteries to play. Confident. Yeah, I'm unstoppable today. Say, let's go, Tayden! Let's go, Tayden! Rosie, say TD number three! <laughs> let's go, Tayden! <laughs>
Hayden's playing center, aka striker, but he'll probably not even see the ball. Is it warm enough out here for you? No, it's winter. We gotta go. It's freezing. I don't like Hi. it. Yeah. Yay! Roswell, he was going, he's going like this, and he'd go, Greatest Showman. Greatest Showman. And you're singing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's freezing out. What do you think the temperature it's freezing. is? Freezing. I don't know. 50 something. 55. But not warm enough for October. Yeah, this is too cold. Here we go, second half underway. Switch sides. Let's see if going downhill will help at all. this game after because we just got our butts kicked we did score twice so and we earned both those goals but they scored like 10 or 12 times so anyways that's what happens when you only practice once a week and you play against a team that practices two to three times a week so better luck next time surf here we go Are you guys on thawed yet? Barely. We're freezing. It was chilly. Yeah. We're so chilly. sad. It's already so cold here. I know. Seriously, Utah, if you guys don't know this, so our thermometer goes by Fahrenheit, and for some reason, our thermometer always skips the 70s. Last week for <laughs> games, it was 87. Yeah. And then this week, it's in the 50s. It's so cold. Freezing. I'm not ready for it. So anyways, uh, Tayden, what was the final score of the game, bro? Nine to two. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that was a little bit of a rough game. Tayden's I didn't like- wasn't there, number one. I didn't like the mentality the kids had going into the game today, though, because Tayden, what, what did you guys find out at the beginning of the game? That they were the number one team. Uh-huh, and so I was kind of getting in up here a little bit, and then Tayden, what's the first thing you said to me when you saw the team? Those kids are big. Like, they're all so tall. They're a pretty decent sized team. Intimidating. And pretty decent. They're like 
Well, you got, I'd say half of your team is as big as their team. Yeah, but I feel like they it got in their head. So one of the parents decided to look up the other team's ranking and they were undefeated. Yeah. So they're the number one team in their league and for some reason they decided to tell the kids that which like I don't know why you even need to tell the kids that like they don't need that up here so I think that came out on the field today and it was it was a tough loss um plus they were frozen like you could tell nobody was running as hard as they yeah. normally would because everybody was half frozen oh, so yeah so anyways um Tana's got two more games left of the regular season and I think that's it that's it. I don't think they have a tournament. So anyways, tough loss tonight. They got two more games. Hopefully we can get one of those games. Nikoi, did you give your brother a hug? Lower. Either one of them. <laughs> we missed you tonight, sister, while you were at gymnastics. How did that go? Good. What'd you do that was super awesome? My bars. So everybody excited to watch Nikoi's gymnastics competition start coming up yeah. in a couple months? We already did, um, we're already practicing our three routines. McCoy, when is your competition? In December. Oh, okay. So only like two months away. All right. And then William's got wrestling. If you guys haven't seen his, his practice video from yesterday, you got to go check it out. And this Saturday, he starts basketball. William has his first basketball game this Saturday? On Saturday. I didn't know. You didn't tell me that. Okay, guys, um, that's going to be it from the Dykes fam, except one important piece of information one. this is probably your last day to enter the giveaway today's the okay? last day to win some awesome sports equipment yeah our friends at cause on are willing to hook you guys up with either a double shot basketball hoop a ball rebounder a bounce house or a cool soccer ball chair so Which one do you guys want if you guys haven't seen the giveaway video just yet um, i'm going to post a link in the description i hope i remember if i don't hit me up in the comments okay but it's just, I think it's William's football game. But guys, go enter that contest. It's so easy. You, got, you just gotta go watch the vlog that it's in and we tell you exactly how to enter, which takes like five seconds. Super easy. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. The Dykes fam. Thanks for Tainan. Tainan. they lost. Yeah, it's okay. All right, dude, what do you tell them? We'll see you guys tomorrow.